Coach McDonough, congratulations. <laughs> Second round victory. Number 14 Cardinals defeat number 21 Rowan. A uh, hard fought game through uh, lightning delays again that seemed to follow your team <laughs> in the NCAA tournament two years in a row, but come out on top of the victory this afternoon. How do you feel about your team's performance? First off, I have to thank WNL because they used to be the team that had their lightning delays and apparently they've passed it along to us. So I'll be taking that up with them. Um, but I'm really, really excited. Um, we went in, I think we're really starting to hit our stride as a team. Um, I think as a program, we always pride ourselves on improving throughout the season and ideally getting hot when it's time. And I think today it really, we really got to showcase that. I mean, from that first draw, even in minute 20 rain delay, we came out and our energy was there. Um, our execution wasn't always perfect, but it was because we were trying to play fast, we were playing hard. And I think early on, I think we felt the confidence and it wasn't really ever in doubt after that, regardless of when we had a couple of missteps. And you talk about that effort and intensity that you want to play with, especially on the defensive end with Aaron and uh, that team did. Just talk about what it took to limit uh, a good Rowan team to 11 goals in a game like this. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a full defensive effort. Obviously, Aaron is an incredible defender. Um, and more importantly, she's huge in getting us possession, usually from the draw as well, or coming up with a turnover in transition, or just transitioning the ball, because she likes to run. <laughs> I don't know if she actually likes to run, but she does. <laughs> um, but I mean, she's the leader of our defense. I think everybody agrees. She talks them through things when things are getting tense down there. She calms them down. Um, and then she either encourages somebody to come up with a big play or she'll do it herself. And for you, Aaron, you know, out there going and trying to mark one of the top offensive players for Rowan all game long, what did you really see out there that you and your teammates did to help limit those uh, chances for Rowan? I think just going off what Megan said, a lot of us were looking into this game as kind of like our revenge. Um, I know that our prior game, we kind of, things didn't go our way. So just preparing, we watched film on them, um, just took a lot of what they did previously. We knew that eight meters were huge last game and we definitely want to limit them. And we all were just on the same page communicating. And again, like Megan said, just talking each other up and encouraging each other to just really step up in these big moments. And for you as a junior now, kind of stepping into a leadership role, coming from last year's team that loses 13 seniors now, back in the NCAA tournament, winning games again. What really has kind of been the difference from last year to this year for you? Um, I think just the fact that there are less seniors, it just kind of puts a little bit more focus on them individually. Um, we just really want to do it for them. And I think that as upperclassmen, my grade personally has had the responsibility of stepping up a little bit more, um, just because last year there were a lot of strong players. And this year there are strong players, but we kind of, as a juniors, almost outnumber them. So I think just really working together with them in like a cohesive unit really helped us um, come up with a big win today. And kind of the same thing for you, Coach. Um, you know, last year's team to this year's team, still winning, still winning landmark championships, winning NCAA games. But what really kind of makes this team a little bit more different that there really is this chance that this role of momentum can continue on into the Final Four even? I think it's the perfect blend of weirdly like a very small upperclassman. I mean, I think we have what nine mm -hmm. upperclassmen yeah. that are actually healthy and playing. Um, and then everybody else is a freshman or a sophomore. And I think the freshmen and sophomores are eager and want to follow and our juniors and seniors want to lead them. And there's not this like we have this huge senior class that is going to kind of have that dominating personality. It is everybody's playing for each other. They don't care who. This team works hard. It's not artificial at all. And it just, it's, I mean, I've been saying for, since the very beginning, and it felt weird, but like we're grinders. Like this team just wants to grind and get better. And it's, it's different than anything we've ever had before. But as a coach, I'm having the most fun I've ever had.